My name is Richard Van Wickler. I'm the superintendent of the Cheshire County Department of Corrections in Keene, New Hampshire. I've become uh, a reformer with respect to drug laws uh, as the result of an awakening. I'm 20 years in the business trying to do what I think is the right thing. The war on drugs is a significantly failed policy. I grew up in the military. My father was a career Air Force person. I went into the military myself, went into active duty Army for three years. I uh, came into corrections in 1987 because I was a young man, I had a family, and I needed a job. There were a lot of things that I would see that I didn't think were right and things that didn't feel right. When I was a brand new correctional officer, I'm, I'm a, a brand new kid on the job, and they, they brought in a construction worker who had never been in trouble in his entire life. Uh, and he was arrested for, for having uh, marijuana, and it was uh, like an ounce or so. And he was frightened to death in jail. And there was clearly a, a different demeanor about this man who was a construction worker, a family man, husband, father. And it didn't make sense to me on how this person who was just scared to death would have to come here for uh, the possession of marijuana. The thought of seeing that man and how frightened he was, it will never leave me. There are people who are in this institution to the tune of $115 a day. That's what it costs the taxpayer for somebody to be here. That is not a risk of flight and they're not a risk to public safety. What we can do with people who are nonviolent is either have them do day reporting, put them on electronic monitoring, where they can still go to work, where they can still function as a family member, where they can still pay taxes versus taking everybody off the street and putting them in here. We woke up to a correctional system that we can no longer afford and we need to do something about it very quickly.